Okay, happy election day, everybody. Hopefully everyone's ready um, for this quick break of the TriStar full case of mini helmets, 10 boxes. Um, couple ground rules. Uh, all Houston Oilers helmets will go to the Tennessee Titans. All Cleveland Browns helmets stay with the Browns. Baltimore Colts go to the Indianapolis Colts. And then if you have a college or Hall of Fame helmet, um, if it is a current player, it will go to whatever team that player is on now. If it is a retired player, it will go to whoever that player played for the most by the number of, of NFL seasons. If it's a tie between two teams for the number of seasons, the tiebreaker will be the number of total games played for those two teams. Um, if we get a helmet where there's a player that never played for an NFL football team. Like, for example, in the break yesterday, we had a Charlie Ward Florida State helmet. Uh, if we get into an, another situation like that, um, we will do a randomization with all the teams in the break to decide who gets that helmet. Other than that, I think we are good to go. Uh, let me fix this typo here. Other than that, we're good to go, I believe. Um, if you have any questions or anything, shoot me on the chat. I'll take a peek at that every few minutes. But other than that, uh, good luck, everybody. Okay, we've got college helmet. The Oklahoma Sooners on a speed helmet. And the autograph is going to be Brian Bosworth, the Boz. So I believe that is Seattle. I will double check that to be 100% sure at the end of this, but uh, 99.9% .9 sure that it's going to be Seattle for that one. So congratulations, Seahawks, if I am correct. Not a bad first helmet. Something different. Box two. Okay, another college helmet. The Ohio State University with tons of Buckeye stickers on there. Loaded up on the Buckeye stickers. And the autograph is Troy Smith. Heisman Trophy 2006. And I believe that should be Baltimore Ravens. Um, again, I will verify, but I believe that's where he spent the most time. Nice autograph, nice, um, nice Heisman inscription on the OSU speed helmet. TriStar authenticated 
the COAs on the bottom there. So, two college helmets so far. Not bad. So, we're due for some Hall of Famers now, I would guess. We got two non Hall of Famers beating us off. Top of the case. Okay, we've got a Dallas Cowboy and the autograph is Mel Renfro, Hall of Fame inscription, Hall of Fame 96 for Mel Renfro on the Cowboys, on the Cowboys Mini. There's your first Hall of Famer. On the box four. Oakland slash Las Vegas Raiders. Silver and the black. And the autograph is going to be Brian Edwards. So we have our first draft pick autograph. Brian Edwards. From South Carolina, draft pick of the Las Vegas Raiders. So that goes out to Oakland slash Las Vegas. Beat up on my Cleveland Browns this weekend. Having a pretty decent season. Got another, we've got a duplicate here, or a duplicate team. The Cowboys get another one. And that autograph is going to be Danny White. Cowboys quarterback, Cowboys punter, with a Super Bowl 12 inscription. He was a 1982 Pro Bowl selection, and he's in the College Football Hall of Fame as well. So the Cowboys get two so far. Nice Danny White signature there. And it's a JSA certificate, not a TriStar. It's the first one of those we've seen. With the big JSA cert there. Two for the Cowboys. All right, halfway home, five left. First Hall of Fame helmet, Hall of Fame speed helmet, and the autograph is going to be Dwight Stevenson, Hall of Fame 98, should be the Miami Dolphins, I believe. Again, I will verify everything just in case so we don't make a mistake, but I believe he spent most, of, if not all, of his time with the, the Miami. There's his stats. 
So a nice autograph there. You can almost read it. Every single letter. Very unusual nowadays. See some of these cards now. If you get two letters out of the guys, you're doing pretty good. So it's nice to see a nice clean autograph. We got a Chicago Bear. Chicago Bear helmet. And the autograph is going to be Mike Singletary. Hall of Fame, 1998 inscription. The cert must be on the bottom. It's probably a TriStar cert. But former coach, long time, long time middle linebacker for the Chicago Bears. Super Bowl champs in 85. Here's his other accolades. So that one's going out to Chicago. We had a Dan Hampton yesterday, so not sure if the same person won Chicago two days in a row, but if so, they got a nice little contingent of those 1985 Bears. Box eight. Okay, we've got a New York Giants old school logo and the autograph is going to be. Y Tittle, so very suitable on the throwback mini helmet. Very cool, Hall of Fame 1971. So that's a nice pull there for the Giants. Giants having a tough start to the season. Almost pulled it out yesterday, but that's a nice, uh, stickers coming off a little bit there, but you could probably just press that back on. I like that. That old school look to that helmet. Pretty sweet. And it's got a JSA cert there on the bottom. So we've got a couple of JSAs. And there's his stats. Like I said, Pro Football Hall of Fame, 1971. Did for the 49ers as well. But that's a Giants helmet, so it'll go to the Giants. All right, two left. Let's pull something big. Get a Tua or a Joe Burrow, Joe Montana. Any of those would be fun. Okay. We've got the Lightning Bolts, Los Angeles slash San Diego Chargers on a speed helmet. And the autograph is going to be Charlie Joyner, Hall of Fame 96. Another clean autograph, blue on the white. For Joyner, the first charter hit in the last two days. There's his relevant data. Charlie Joyner going out to Los Angeles, Chargers. All right, box 10 to wrap it up. Then we can go watch, see who wins all these elections. Or, or not pay attention if you so choose. Minnesota Vikings speed helmet and the autograph is going to be Warren Moon. Warren Moon, longtime oiler and played quite a few years for 
the Vikings as well hooking up with with Randy Moss and a lot of those really good teams. So that's a nice autograph there again. It's very clean. There's his stats. Uh, Canadian Football Hall of Fame and Pro Football Hall of Fame. The run and shoot and all those great uh, um, Houston Oilers teams back in the late 80s, early 90s. So that wraps it up. Um, I'll get these going out to you guys uh, tomorrow. Um, the ones from yesterday I, I had planned on shipping out today, but the cardboard shipping boxes that I had bought special for these were just a shade too small. So I've got new boxes coming in tomorrow. So hopefully those come in in the morning and I can get everything rolling. But check your, if you want anything, check your tracking. Um, again, we've got the last case coming up. Uh, that'll be tomorrow. It's probably going to be the last one we're going to do of these. So if you're still interested, check out my eBay auctions and put some bids in. Um, we have other breaks coming up this week. We've got NASCAR, the Panini Prism going out on Sunday. Those auctions are live. And we've got Allen and Ginter 2020 Baseball. Uh, a couple breaks uh, of those coming up as well in the next few days. So check my auctions. Uh, leave me good feedback. If you want to see us break anything else or that we're not doing, let me know. We're always open um, to ideas for different products. And uh, other than that, I hope everyone had fun and hope to see you guys all tomorrow. Have a good night, everybody.